the city council that's in Ilhan Omar's district is just voted to eliminate the Pledge of Allegiance every morning in order to make it more welcoming to an environment to not offend anybody. This, to me, is, is absolutely crazy, Barry. Um, you know, I don't know what they ever say about this. Let's start with this here. And St. Louis Park just, um, you know, they caught hell for doing this, too. And now they have reversed course. I mean, what, what do you think about this, Barry? Ilhan Omar, let's start off with her. Jermaine, when I was growing up uh, in Indiana, the Pledge of Allegiance started our school every morning. Everybody stood, faced the flag, put their hand over the heart, and the biggest honor you could have as a little kid in elementary school was the teacher would call on you, everyone would volunteer to lead the pledge, we all shot our hands up because it was an honor not only to be an American but to show our allegiance to our flag and all that it represented. And for someone like me, who is like you, um, you know, we don't come from generations of Americans. My mm -hmm. parents came here after World War II. You came here to become an American citizen. To be able to stand before the flag was an honor for us. Mm -hmm. And from my perspective as an older person with grandchildren, I want my children and I want my grandchildren to feel that same sense of pride. If you eliminate the pledge because it offends some people, my perspective on that is the people that are offended can go someplace where they want to pledge to another flag. If this flag isn't good enough, and that's okay, it truly is, let them leave. But you don't start dismantling the country to feed the prejudices, hatred, and literally self-loathing of people that have no patriotism. For them, America is the enemy, and that's okay. Let them go choose a place that's more welcoming to them. And God bless them. The doors are open. They can go wherever they want. But if they're here, <laughs> I... You, you, you know you're treading in um, very dangerous territory. Our good friend, Mr. President, said the same exact thing. Hey, if you don't like it, you can leave. Go back to where you came from. Or, or go where you want to <laughs> go. You know? It's not just where you came from. For a lot of people, Jermaine, that are born here, they're from here. Mm -hmm. But if they don't think America is the greatest country in the face of the earth, which I happen to think it is, if they don't think America is the greatest country that's ever existed in civilized history, which I seem to believe it is, then they're free to go. They, they can pick. There's a lot of places that will welcome them. And they can go argue with those people. 